Salutations, friends. Tis I, said Stevie. Uh, coming at you from the uh, cab of my truck today. That's uh, because I've been out on the road uh, running errands all morning. Um, before I got home, though, I wanted to uh, stop. I'm parked at a little spot uh, not too far from my house. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but it, uh, it just snowed again. Uh, it's super cold. And um, hence why I'm wearing gloves and my new uh, bomber hat. <laughs> um, I just took off my hoodie, actually, because um, I was starting to get a little warm in the uh, cab. But, uh, I, yeah, I film in my garage, and it's really cold out right now. And so I figured, uh, you know, I got a quick uh, unpackaging that I wanted to do. So I figured, why not uh, just do it from the cab of my truck? So sorry if the audio is not great. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's get into it uh, here, uh, shall we? So uh, this is actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is... Uh, a knife that, um, by the way, it's Fam Forge. Where's my camera? Uh, it's Fam Forge Friday. So I got my uh, original Archbishop uh, in hand. Boom. Having to do things backwards on the cell phone is weird. But uh, um, that's what I'm uh, carrying today. Uh, but this is a knife that uh, my buddy Sharif uh, hit me too. Uh, Sharif Mangana's of Mangana Steel, uh, the real Sharif, Sharif M. Um, awesome video that he put out yesterday, uh, by the way. Uh, I did post it in the community uh, section, and I put uh, an Instagram story out on it. Sharif is making, er, branding his own knife right now, and uh, taking the first steps, and uh, so super stoked uh, for that dude. Um, awesome guy. Love me some Mangana steel designs. But uh, this is something that uh, he showed off a while back. And um, it was sold out for a while. And then he was like, hey, uh, there's one available on eBay. And so uh, I won the bid and actually got it for like 90 bucks. So, um, yeah, this is the TS380. Uh, this is my first uh, full-size Tucson. Um, my other ones, I just have a couple of CM, uh, knife designs. Uh, they're just little guys. Uh, but this is definitely a, uh, full-size knife. Um, super, uh, packed up here in some, uh, cellophane. So I'm gonna slice open, uh, this bad boy. And it looks like it's caked in oil. Big time. Um, but this is, uh, one, oh yeah, it's... This I think it's because it comes from China. This thing is drenched, absolutely drenched in oil. If you guys can see that, absolutely just just doused in oil. So um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get something to clean that up with. But uh, this is uh, like I said, the TS three eighty um, carbon fiber uh, titanium uh, handles. Uh, it's like, you know, shadow box, micro milled, uh, titanium there. Um, love the, uh, profile of it, the flipper and a hole for, uh, deployment. Um, but this is from one of his, uh, design, uh, partners, uh, Roman. And so, uh, let's give it, uh, let's give it a flick. Snappy. Look at that, uh, blade shape on there. Digging it, digging it. Yeah, this thing is, uh, this thing's nice, it makes a nice little thwack, uh, when it fires out there. Um, yeah. Uh, this thing's pretty dope. Uh, I'm gonna spend some time with it, let you guys know what my thoughts are on it. But, uh, yeah, Tucson TS380. Shout out to, uh, Mangana Steel. Uh, definitely, if you guys haven't subscribed to him yet, please do so. Uh, he'll be taking us along, uh, his journey as he... Uh, gets ready uh, for the prototyping of his uh, new um, uh, design uh, that he's got coming out. So, yeah. Um, and that's all I had as far as uh, uh, unpackaging today. Um, I guess uh, while I'm here, um, I can give... Uh, I can do a pocket dump. Should I do a pocket dump or an EDC update? I just saw... Lefty did one of his EDC updates. Maybe I'll do that. Um, I just started wearing these gloves again. 
they are dirty. Uh, these uh, are my uh, what I use when I uh, shoot uh, out in the cold. And I like these gloves. Um, these are just uh, they're the mechanics. I think they're I might have got them from Harbor Freight. I don't know, but these are the uh, these are X XL I think double XL. But uh, nice lightweight does enough just to keep the chills off your fingers. And what's nice about them is I can still use the uh, touch screen on my phone when I'm wearing them, and I can still um, you know manipulate my knives uh no problem uh, uh wearing them um you know i can middle finger flick everything uh if it's got a flipper tab on it no problem so i've been wearing uh these over the last couple days uh even when i drive because like i said it is chilly uh and then yeah i just got this new uh bomber hat um ears will flap down in case uh you know um my ears get cold but, uh, yeah, I don't know. This thing seems... I, I look goofy as shit in it. Um, but uh, when you're my age um, and... Can I snap that together? There we go. Uh, when you're my age um, and really uh, any age I've been, I don't really give a fuck about looks. <laughs> so I look goofy anyway. Um, but uh, I also did just get this... I've been wearing this all week. A new uh, Boston Scally been sporting this bad boy also so yeah oh and i should probably uh show off check that out what do you guys think about that pacific northwest got the ufo sucking up the p <laughs> uh this is these are design elements uh from three different people actually so you got the original uh, logo there in the center uh, that came from uh, Gary the Last Ranger and then some of my uh, emojis uh, channel member emojis uh, designed by uh, pocket metal see that see that guy there can I zoom in on on that that's me <laughs> that's me um, yeah uh, pocket metal uh, designed those and then um, uh, Drooby Tunes uh, put all this together, and it's, you know, uh, kind of mimics the uh, Pacific Northwest uh, sticker that you see all around the Pacific Northwest. So, um, I got some stickers made up. Uh, those are coming. This is just a one-off shirt that I had made for myself. I don't know if I'll be doing shirts or not. If I'm going to, that won't be till the first of the year. We'll see. Um, but, uh, uh, what else? Um, oh, well, I guess if I'm going pocket check, your EDC update, let's start, uh, back left pockets. Uh, I got my field notes, uh, book, uh, Lancelot leather field notebook. Um, I keep stickers in here also, uh, for, you know, when I'm out and about, if I see a cool spot that it's got other stickers, I'll uh, throw a slap up there, but it's got uh, field notes in there. And I definitely, uh, do, um, I use this, uh, this comes in uh, super handy. Uh, let me just take my gloves off here. Um, front left pocket. That's where I carry my wallet. Uh, my EDC doesn't really change, honestly. Uh, my knife, I rotate uh, some knives, but my my daily shit, uh, it doesn't change. Um, depending on what I'm doing, I'm carrying a uh, Lancelot uh, leather uh, business card holder. Um, this one happens to be my personal one uh, that's got my uh, business cards in there. And then I got one uh, for work as well. Uh, my wallet, uh, this is, and I'm going to be changing up my wallet because I just got a Lancelot leather strap wallet. I'm hoping we'll be here uh, tomorrow, but uh, this is the Urban uh, EDC companion wallet. Um, carries a bunch of cards, a cash. It's got a little uh, slot in the middle. Uh, I keep, you know, like my uh concealed carry permits and whatnot um and then i carry a lynch northwest uh, all access pass i do rotate uh rotate i rotate these out uh every once in a while but this one uh i love the most uh the lightweight uh this one was uh, uh given to me by uh casey uh lynch when i visited the shop there i probably told that story too many times um so that's kind of my favorite one uh, I got my uh, Wingard wearables uh, quill that I keep tucked in there. 
a uh, little uh, mini uh, beard comb just in case. I normally got I got a bunch of different beard combs in my truck here, but um, always got one on me just in case. And then of course my favorite piece of EDC gear, my uh, Oral B floss pick charcoal mint. Actually got uh, just reached for a new one today. Got the whole bag uh, with me right here. Third bag that I've gone through since these came out a little over a year ago. So go through them a lot. Uh, front right pocket. Um, that's usually my janky pocket. And speaking of jank, I've been carrying my uh, Jack's Lungs. Uh, this is some sort of vintage micarta with burlap micarta on the other side. Nice uh, polish uh, to these. Uh, like carrying, uh, you know, a little jank. Got uh, always, I always carry this uh, in my Lancelot leather uh, coin slip. This is the uh, Shire Mint Post uh, Fungible Token. Yes on one side, no on the other. Uh, gifted to me by Brother Jason Brown. Uh, I don't remember how long ago, but uh, I always carry a coin, and ever since uh, uh, he got me that, I've been carrying that. And then uh, my EDC round table Zippo, and then I do have a, it's a, oh, that flame is, I just refilled it. It's a dual flame, it's got the torch, and then an actual flame on there. Uh, so that's what I got there. And then, um, uh, oh. I already took the knife out. I always carry primary, secondary, or one and two uh, knives. Um, Archbishop, OG Archbishop from Ferrum Forge uh, for Ferrum Forge Friday. And then the knife that really hasn't left my pocket since I got it is the uh, Bridgeport Knife Co. 395. I love this thing. Uh, little guy, um, nice uh, hollow grind on the 14C. Uh, 28N uh, blade steel action is wonderful. Uh, only a slot for deployment, uh, non flipper, but uh, you can fire it out with your thumb. Uh, you saw uh, I was wearing my gloves and able to uh, flick it out, no problem. Um, this is a smaller knife for sure, but I just I absolutely love it. Uh, this I I really 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 dig this knife. So uh, this has been in my pocket uh, pretty much nonstop since I got it. Um, but I am in my truck. Uh, what else do I got here? Oh, another actually, this is, uh, I, I would consider part of my EDC. Uh, my Mattisfaction, uh, tumbler. Uh, I got some coffee in here. This always goes with me. Uh, yeah. Shout out to, uh, Mattisfaction. Uh, said faction, live with said faction, late night with said faction is tonight. And also, we uh, just ordered some uh, said faction uh, stickers, too. So, uh, that's cool. Uh, what else? Um, oh, uh, this thing. This is the uh, Nisperos uh, cordless heated beard brush for you uh, beardsmen on the go. Uh, this will take about... Uh, it, I just, uh, discharged it, uh, using it earlier. Um, but, uh, this takes about 10 minutes for it to charge up, uh, fully. And then, uh, it takes about four minutes for it to heat up. And this beard brush is awesome. Um, I, I need to keep a well-groomed beard while I'm at work. And if I'm going to have a beard and, um... It's normally not a problem if I'm at home. I'm able to, you know, keep my beard uh, brushed throughout the day. But uh, sometimes, especially this time of year, uh, it's more humid, uh, more damp in the air. My beard gets all frizzy. And so I like to have a nice looking beard. So having this on the road with me now is uh, cool. Um, what else? Oh, uh... I got both of my truck knives out, actually. I was just uh, playing with them. First truck knife that I have is my Axial Gear uh, Shift OTF, the S35VN uh, Warncliffe. 
Love this. I've never been able to fail this thing. I gave up my Microtech uh, for this. I really like this. This is made in the United States, too, by the way. Uh, they have a couple different flavors, a couple different blade steels. You can get it in a drop point. I don't know if you can get it in a dagger or not, but uh, yeah, currently I think this is their only made in the United States knife. Um, and uh, I dig it. Uh, Grady's Gear has a uh, code for them, too, by the way. Uh, and then my other truck knife that I uh, really do beat the hell out of, uh, this is my Kershaw uh, Dividend. It's got the speed assist, uh, M390 uh, blade, also made in the United States, and just a great all-around, uh, all-purpose knife. Um, yeah, uh, these are the two knives that I keep uh, in my center console. Oh, I also have... Uh, I knew I might be doing this video, and so I wanted to grab it and show it off. Boom! Look at that. The Be Up EDC Roundtable Christmas 2022 sticker. Uh, this was also designed by uh, Drewby Tunes. And uh, this is uh, Forest of Forest Hanks. That's one thing I didn't get to. My Hanks. Pause. Um... I always carry two Hanks on me. Uh, this is my favorite Hank, and it's Forest Hanks Friday also. So uh, this is the Hank that I carry the most. But then I also, uh, I tossed my EDC Roundtable uh, Forest Hank in my pocket also. But uh, Forest uh, put together a Secret Santa for the second year in a row. Last year, uh, it was the DSKFS uh, Christmas. Uh, this year, it's the Be Up EDC Roundtable uh, Christmas. I uh, did a, it's a secret Santa. Um, uh, it's already been decided, so if you didn't get in on it, uh, you'll have to wait till next year. But uh, uh, anybody that wanted to uh, get in on it sent Forrest an email. Um, he put everybody's names in a uh, shuffler and then sent us out uh, who uh, our secret Santa, uh, who, who we're shopping for. And uh, I can't wait um, uh, to give my uh, gift. Uh, to my um, uh, person that was uh, assigned to me, picked for me. Um, pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, not, uh, I'll say no more. Uh, but then I'm also uh, in another secret Santa in a uh, another group um, ran by uh, Vince Semperfy EDC guy and uh, uh, Jared White. Um, Cherry Picking EDC is also uh, helping organize that. Uh, so I'm in that uh, Secret Santa as well. Got my uh, gifts all together for that. I uh, got to do some wrapping before I uh, send them along. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's uh, what I got going on. Um, oh, my truck flashlight. What is this? This is the uh, Workos FC11. I've had this thing for, shoot, I don't know how long. I didn't check these pockets either. Haha, <laughs> I'll do that in a second. Um, uh, I don't know. I got this several years ago, and it's uh, it's awesome. USB-C uh, rechargeable. A little flap's already busted off of there. I think it goes up to uh, 1,800 uh, lumens. Um, nice uh, magnetic uh, cap on it as well. And yeah, just a great uh, general... Uh, I, it's, it's bigger than what I would want to carry. It's like the size of a Olight, uh, baton two. It's the size of like an Olight baton. Um, and I, I like it, uh, cause it's USB-C rechargeable and I don't have, what I don't like about Olight is their proprietary chargers. I don't like having, I like to keep minimalist stuff in my truck and I have always have a USB-C charger in here. That's what I like about carrying a USB-C I know it's just one other charging cord, and I do actually got one in here because I do have another Olight in, uh, like the, in my center console. But this is my go-to. And then my uh, go-to uh, truck pen is my Roswell Inn uh, from uh, when we stayed at Roswell, uh, in Roswell on our road trip uh, to Blade Show. Uh, picked up one of their pens. And that's just what I keep up here. But uh, this pocket that I forgot to check, uh, part of my EDC. Speaking of flashlights, uh, my dapper uh, ion and black aluminum. 
Um, just a fabulous little uh, light for what I need. I think it's only up to 600 lumens. Yeah, 600. Um, for EDC tasks, uh, for most of the time, this is all I ever need for. Um, uh, it's also got a uh, magnetic uh, clip. Oh, that's titanium. That's why it's not doing it. Or not a magnetic clip, but a uh, magnetic uh, tail cap on it. So uh, that can get annoying uh, from time to time. Um, things can stick to it, but uh, this is also USB-C uh, rechargeable. So usually, like every other day or so, whether I've used it or not, I got a couple of USB-C chargers in here. I just throw it on the uh, charger uh, for however long while I'm driving. Stick it back in my pocket. It's always charged up. Whoopsies. Uh, and then I've been carrying the... Uh, uh, this is the um, tactile turn uh, side click. It's the one of their limited editions. It's got uh, uh, Sasquatch on the clip there. Um, honestly, though, a side click is not a great EDC pen, um, in the sense that it's constantly getting depressed. You know, I bump into stuff or it's just sitting in my pocket and something hits it and it depresses it. And then the, uh, uh, it's always, uh, open. And also the finish on here is rubbing off really bad. When I showed this to Tactile Turn at Blade Show West, they told me I should actually send this in for a warranty replacement. They said that they they felt that the action was gritty on there and that it should be uh, it, it should be smoother than that. Um, we even took it apart and couldn't do anything. He said, "Send it in." I said, "Well, I kind of like that it takes a little bit more to depress it because I EDC it." I don't think it matters, but the more it, it's nice having it smoother, I guess, for a desk pen or you know fidget. But um, it doesn't bother me, so I'm not going to bother to uh, uh, send this in for a warranty replacement. But uh, yeah, I only got it because it's got uh, Sasquatch on it. That's the only reason why. Um, I wish it was in the uh, the bolt action because I also have another tactile turn uh, bolt action, which I absolutely love. I think they take the Fisher space pen refills. Um, what else I got? Eh, I got nothing else cool on me. Uh, I guess I do have one of my, uh, well, I got my entire backpack with me. There's my backpack, with some of my patches on it. Um, keep all sorts of gear in there. Uh, right now I got my, uh, the only, and I'm not gonna uh, show it, but I keep my uh, pistol in there. Also keep a pistol in my uh, glove box locked, but then I keep a pistol in my backpack as well. Um, that's it. This video turned out to be way longer than I anticipated, but you know, that's how I do. Oh, more stuff uh, that I EDC. Um, this is a, uh, what is this? A CAC City a digital watch. I just looked this up because uh, I was thinking about buying another one for a gift. I paid $12.99 for this uh, two plus years ago. It's now up to $16.99. And um, this is a cheap, cheap, cheap watch. Uh, and it's lasted. I haven't changed the batteries or nothing uh, for two and a half years. And um, I used to enjoy having nice, uh, fairly expensive watches. And I always end up fucking them up somehow, scratching the uh, face of them, breaking them. It seems like I would fall. <laughs> I'm, I'm a klutz and my watch would be the first thing that got sacrificed. And I just got tired of spending money on watches. So I wanted to get cheap watches. And this one absolutely does the trick. 13 bucks, two and a half years. It, it will illuminate. You can't see it uh, when it's light out, but it'll illuminate. It's got an alarm, it's got, you know, a timer, it's got, you know, it'll do all the basic stuff a watch does. You know what I need for uh, a watch to do? What time is it? It's 11.13. What's the date? It's Friday the 12th. That's it. And most of the time I'm actually uh, looking at my phone uh, to do that. Uh, or I'm in front of uh, my computer and I'm looking down at uh, my calendar. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do like having uh, a watch and 
I don't need a watch. That's why I don't have a smartwatch. Um, I had one years ago, the Asus Zen watch, and it was cool. But then I'm getting alerts on my phone. I'm getting... I wouldn't mind getting a new smartwatch, maybe. But as of right now, literally all I need a watch for is... Oh, there you go. That's it. Oh, okay. That's it. So... Uh, cheap as possible. I don't care about it being water rated or anything. I don't go swimming uh, really at all. Uh, and if I were to fall into a lake or a river or something and this got ruined, I'm not really worried about it. I got much bigger problems than what time is it um, if this does uh, get ruined. Um, I've worn it in the shower before though and it uh, doesn't have any problems. Um, and then on this uh, wrist, I have my uh, Lancelot leather, uh, leather bracelet that, uh, he gave me. Um, I've never worn bracelets, but he sent me one today. Check it out. And, uh, that was a few months ago and I've been wearing it ever since. So yeah, now that's it. I think I covered everything. Here's my little Night King guy. Maybe you guys saw my winter is coming or winter is has arrived video i was thinking about shooting another one uh, i got a bunch of little mini knives and it's just fun to you know bust this guy out uh when it's snowing um but then i also grabbed my uh my berg blades um is this the bottle butcher i think so you know little just a little small guy you can see it even compared to the uh Bridgeport uh, 395, you know, it's just a tiny little guy, uh, G10 on the scales, I don't even know what the blade steel is on this, but uh, uh, Frank, Jedi Scum got this for me uh, for Christmas last year, uh, it's got a nice little uh, Kydex uh, sheath uh, for it, but I don't know, like I said, it snowed, maybe I'll take some uh, more photos or do another little something. Can you hear the uh, planes overhead? I'm right by the uh, municipal airport. I know you always hear planes in the background of my videos, but... Wow. 30-minute video. What this turned into. Okay. Well, hopefully uh, you guys uh, stuck around for the whole thing. You probably didn't, though, and that's okay. Uh, if you did, uh, I definitely appreciate it. As I mentioned uh, earlier, tonight we have uh, Late Night with Said Faction, my favorite uh, uh, live stream to do, uh, me and Maddie. Normally uh, the same core group of about 25-ish uh, folks that uh, come and hang out. We go live at 9 p.m. Pacific. Uh, so that's mid, it's, it's late. Uh, we know most of the people watching are ahead in the time zones. And so it's usually tomorrow, uh, for most people. And we go, you know, three, last week we went four hours. There is people that were getting, there's always someone that pops in like, Hey, I'm getting up and going to work. Uh, so yeah, but that's a fun one. Um, and then, uh, yeah, tomorrow, uh, is the weekend. I leave for Alaska on Sunday. I'll be up in Alaska for an entire week, uh, for work, not play, but, uh, for, uh, work. I have a little bit of downtime. Um, so Sunday, uh, is, uh, packing early and then I, my flight's at like one o'clock or something. So, and that's like a, I don't know, it's like a five hour, six hour flight, uh, up to Alaska, I think. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with me. Appreciate you mofos tuning in. And until the next one, I bid you deuces.